Hi students, I am Dr. Bhavna. In this lecture, we are going to read about the another topic that is nothing but chondritis we have done. Now we are going to read about the class obstictus. So class obstictus as well as class amphibians we are going to read. So these will come under the phylum that is subphylum that is nothing but vertebrates. So already in the last class we have discussed about chondritus. Today we are going to deal about the ostictus as well as we are going to further that is nothing but another class amphibians. Similar features will be present for that of chondrictus as well as ostictus. Like similar features means what features will be similar but there will be numerous differences which are associated with it. Like suppose they are viviparous means these are oviparous. Like that you can read it as best as differences you can read it out. So these all you should remember very clearly and just concentrate. So we have seen under chordates, they are vertebrates. Under vertebrates, now we are seeing different classes. So we have completed the cyclostomata as well as chondrictus we have completed. So today we are going to start with class of ostictus. Class of ostictus under which uh, uh, vertebrates classification it is classified it is classified under gnathostomata. Gnathostomata. Gnathostomata means what? Here jaws will be present compulsory in them. Jaws are present. But when you come to another, uh, only in chondrictus, ostictus, pisces, they are classified. These are only the fishes which are present. Then later all are tetrapods, amphibians, reptiles, aves, mammals and all are these. Your tetrapods which will bear limbs. Only conductus as well as ostectus, they bear the fins. Next, another first classification is nothing but um, agnata, that is without jaws. Without jaws means what? Here, uh, jaws are absent for them in cyclostomata that we have already done. In conductus, we have completed. Now we are coming to class of ostectus. Class of ostictus, chondrictus ostictus, fishes. So same features will repeat like that of chondrictus. Just concentrate. They are, I'll tell you as differences, remember. They are marine organisms. When you come to ostictus, these are marine as well as freshwater. Marine and freshwater. They are only marine. These are marine as well as freshwater. Both will come here. Then later, uh, we have seen they have cartilaginous endoskeleton. How I told you to easily remember? Cartilaginous means C and C. Chondrictus cartilaginous. Here, ostictus, they will have bony endoskeleton which is present. So, bony endoskeleton. Bony endoskeleton is present in these uh, organisms. They, for them, uh, only cartilaginous here, bony endoskeleton. I am telling you as differences to easily remember. Then next, another important point. For them, nodocord is persistent throughout the life. But for these organisms, nodocord is not persistent throughout the life. I told you only in the class of os uh, chondrictus, Notochord is persistent throughout the life. Then in other organisms, notochord is not persistent throughout the life. So, notochord is replaced by bony endoskeleton. Notochord is replaced by bony endoskeleton that we have seen. Next, another one about the jaws. When you come about the jaws, about the mouth. Mouth is, I told you for them, usually on the ventral side. Here also mouth is usually terminal. That is near the tail like that it is present. So mouth is usually terminal. Mouth is terminal. Here also same. These are the same features now. 
jaws are present that's why you know it is classified as gnathostomata so mouth is present which is usually terminal jaws are present as well as teeth are also present jaws are present for chondrichthys jaws are very powerful here jaws are just present they are not so powerful jaws are present as well as mouth is usually terminal so that we have done then another important point that you should remember jaws are present mouth is usually present on the terminal side then another important point is about the respiration now you will come to respiration when you come to respiration four pairs of gills we already know fishes means gills are present so four pairs of gills are present four pairs four pairs of gills are present four pairs of gills which are uh, useful for respiration are present then whether operculum is present or no in chondrichthys the before class the air bladder is absent operculum is absent but now because we are reading as differences air bladder is present in them as well as operculum is also present operculum is present here four pairs of gills are present right there what i told you gill slits are separate and they are present here specifically they have given in textbook like four pairs of gill slits are present so four pairs of gills are present as well as operculum is also present in them operculum is present then later operculum is present four pairs of gills are present uh, and air bladder is also present so these organisms no need to swim continuously they can maintain their buoyancy buoyancy means what if they won't swim they will sink in the water and they will die for chondrichthys they should continuously swim because air bladder is absent in them but for these organisms they are very beneficial that is air bladder is present in them so they may no need to swim continuously they can take rest whenever they want they can swim so air bladder is present air bladder is present so till now what we have discussed these are marine and fresh water organisms no i just want you to read it as differences between the chondrichthys as well as osteichthys so that will be very useful for you when you see it as differences between chondrichthys and osteichthys these are they are marine organisms chondrichthys these are marine and fresh water they have sea and sea cartilaginous endoskeleton these have bony endoskeleton then another notochord now you come to notochord notochord is persistent throughout the life for them here notochord is replaced notochord is present but that is present during embryonic development later it is replaced by bony endoskeleton next for them now come to mouth and jaws separate uh, chapter when you come to mouth mouth is present on the ventral side for them here mouth is usually present on the terminal side jaws are present because fish, uh, fishes no pisces no so jaws will be present jaws are present mouth is terminal now you come to respiration when you come to respiration four pairs of gills are present four pairs of gills they are present for them gill slits are present for them also gills only here also gills only but here they have given specifically like four pairs of gills are present then operculum is present as well as air bladder is present operculum operculum is associated with that of gills so operculum is present as well as air bladder is present 
operculum air bladder. What is the use of this for them? Both are absent. For the sostic, this both are present. Air bladder, it does not avoid sinking. Here air bladder is present and it does not avoid sinking. So this is about the different types of, uh, you see, class of ostictus. Another features we will see. So till now we have done with mouth as well as respiration. Same order and following as that of contactus. So, the another important point that you should remember is heart. Heart is two-chambered heart. Same, because it will come under fishes, no? Heart is two-chambered. For this, next what we have seen there, that is, um, we have seen that specific organs like electric organs as well as the another one that is nothing but poisonous string are present. Only in class of chondrictus they are present. In ostictus they are absent totally. So electric organs are not present nor, nor this one is present. But the body is streamlined body. Same. Body is streamlined. For this no specific features like electric organs, poisonous strings. No specific features are present. Simply the body is streamlined the body. Then these are also cold blooded animals only. Cold blooded animals means what? Not maintain the constant body temperature. Wherever they shift from one place to another. This also their body temperature will vary. So they are called as poicular thumbs or cold blooded. cold-blooded animals. So, now we have come to last part of ostictus. That is nothing but we have come to uh, the last part that is nothing but sexes are separate. Sexes are separate as well as fertilization. Fertilization is always Fertilization is external fertilization. For them it is internal fertilization. These will have external fertilization. External fertilization that is associated with that. Fertilization is external fertilization as well as the another important point that you should remember is they are oviparous. Oviparous. Sexes are separate means they are also dioecious only. They are also poikilotoms. But fertilization is external and they give birth to young ones in oviparous. They are oviparous. They are viviparous. So this is about the different uh, specific features of class ostictus. Different specific features which are associated with that of class ostictus. That is nothing but we have uh, see for fishes which are the similar features all the features will be same for chondrictus as well as ostictus but the other points like uh, operculum air bladder these only will vary rest all are same for both the classes and only one specific feature for that of chondrictus is nothing but electric organs as well as poisonous strength Rest all maximum will be similar. One or two differences you should remember. Only differences which you should remember are nothing but. For them, notochord is persistent. They are marine organisms first. These are marine and fresh water. They have cartilaginous skeleton. These will have bony skeleton. Two differences still now. The third difference is notochord is persistent for them. Here, Notochord is not persistent. Rest all features are same. Rest all features. Heart, respiration. Next, operculum. For them, operculum is absent. Air bladder is absent. For these, operculum is present. As well as 
not uh, operculum is present as well as air bladder is present that's all next rest all are similar heart is two chambered body is streamlined follicular thumbs sexes are separate now again here one difference comes that is nothing but their fertilization is internal and they are viviparous here fertilization is external and they are oviparous only these are the differences five to six differences only between ostrichthys and chondrichthys rest all are same so you should read like differences it will be very easy for you in this aspect so this is about the class of ostrichthys now we will see different examples which are associated further i told you to remember chondrichthys stpc you can remember dogfish as well as sawfish rest all are shark and trigon but here there are again numerous examples which are associated with that so we will see the numerous examples which are present so numerous examples which are associated are for class ostrichthys is again they are divided into three types that is nothing but marine fresh water as well as aquarium these all three or four times you should read and remember regarding those or else you can't remember in the future like uh, because here i told you they are marine fresh water and in aquarium also you can grow them so that's why three numerous examples will be present for them only four examples are present stpc you can remember for cyclostomata also you can easily remember like petromyzon is lamprey as well as mixin hagfish hagfish is only that is related to cyclostomata that is nothing but without jaws rest all fishes will belong to chondrichthys as well as ostrichthys only only two fishes for that of chondrichthys rest all fishes majority which fishes will come they are classified under ostrichthys only so again here numerous neat questions are asked based on whether they are marine or whether they are fresh water organisms or whether they are belonging to like the numerous these are fresh water organisms they will give you which are fresh water organisms they will give you numerous examples if you read this only you can easily identify which are fresh water as well as which are marine you can easily identify based on these only no orals you are not able to identify which are fresh water and also you should remember the like differences only two examples that are related to marine organisms they are nothing but exocetus exocetus as well as hippocampus exocetus and hippocampus exocetus and hippocampus they both are marine organisms next when you come to fresh water first i will tell you scientific names next later we can see about the normal names which we use daily so fresh water organisms again three organisms for fresh water that is nothing but labio labio cutla clarius labio cutla as well as clarius these three then the third is aquarium in the aquarium what fishes you can grow them that is nothing but betta as well as pterophyllum betta as well as pterophyllum so these are the two organisms which are associated with that of aquarium fresh water these three marine only two organisms because they are classified under marine as well as fresh water 
that's why i am telling you like uh, numerous differences so i think you all are clear regarding that of uh, differences between the class of chondrictus and osteictus i think you all are clear and examples also you should read three or four times because in neat what are fresh water organisms in us or else what are marine organisms which are associated which are only marine organisms we ask then you should not uh, only these two you should remember in class osteictus and rest all of chondrictus you should remember chondrictus for all are marine only no, nothing is fresh water organism so like that you should remember for that next when you come to these these organisms are in their fresh water when you come to aquarium it is nothing but beta as well as sterophyllum which comes under so these are the main differences which are associated with that of these so exocetus exocetus is also called as flying fish flying fish flying fish means it will not fly above the water in the water only it will fly from one place to another so that's why exocetus it's a marine organism seen only in oceans and it is also called as flying fish now when you come to hippocampus it is also called as sea horse sea horse not normal horse it is sea horse normal horse and all are mammals actually sea horse is hippocampus then later fresh water organisms latest in last year or before last year neat questions only they have asked related to that of fresh water organisms what are fresh water organisms and they have given labio cutla clarius and all another in second year also you will get in one topic that is related to animal husbandry and all you will get in that topic which are um, fresh water organisms there again two three examples are additionally added that when i deal with that chapter again i will for now you remember only these three that is nothing but labio cutla and clarius so labio is also called as rohu rohu when you come to cutla cutla again it is also called as cutla only cutla this is very easy to remember in normal terms also we say it as cattle only in scientific terms also we say it as cattle only next clarius clarius is also called as maggot maggot so clarius is also called as maggot when you come to beta beta is nothing but these are, these three are only fresh water labio cattle clarius now we are coming to aquatic organisms when you come to aquatic organisms it is nothing but beta as well as sterophyllum beta is nothing but it is called as fighting fish fighting fish sterophyllum sterophyllum is angel fish angel fish beta fighting fish sterophyllum is also called as angel fish fighting fish angel fish exocetus flying fish hippocampus sea horse labio rohu cutla cutla only clarius it is nothing but maggot beta fighting fish sterophyllum angel fish why i am taking so much time in explaining you regarding all this two or three times here i am explaining again later you should read for two or three times then it will be very easy for you to revise and remember what are the differences between all of this you should remember the differences so this is about the different examples of class osteictus from now whatever the classes we deal numerous examples will come that's why in full chapter of animal kingdom 
vertebrates is the toughest part for you all of you because rest all one or two examples suppose annelida means you can identify which will be the earthworms will be go, belong to that like that you can easily remember nidarians means only two organisms easily you can remember till that of phylum chordata hemichordata two rest all one or two one or two only for that of mollusks numerous will come so mollusks you, you can concentrate and leave that part but when you come to the phylum chordata again for you it will become very difficult for you like uh, numerous examples will be given till now what we have done is only cyclostoma chondrichthys as well as osteichthys then next chapters which we are going to deal that is nothing but amphibians reptiles mammals numerous examples will be there that's why it will take one class for telling you all the numerous examples which are associated with that so that's why i want you to uh, revise uh, day by day which topics i'm sending you revise it read two or three times i'm telling you two or three times then it will be very easy for you so these uh, till now in vertebrates only examples if we are going to discuss it is nothing but uh, cyclostoma is petromyza on lamprey as well as mixine is hagfish only one fish hagfish that is related to cyclostomata next to another two fishes another two fishes is coleodon is dogfish as well as pristis is stock sawfish rest is trichon carcodon you can easily remember when you come to class of osteichthys again here only numerous you should remember like marine freshwater aquarium marine means exogetus flying fish hippocampus sea horse fishes maximum fishes will be here only then freshwater is labio rohu cutla clarius betta fighting fish angel fish these all will come majority fishes are under class osteichthys like that you can easily remember from next to which we are going to deal with amphibians reptiles as well as mammals no fishes will come only all reptiles frogs and everything you can come that's why you can if you they give numerous neat questions also related to this you can easily answer because majority of the fishes belong to class osteichthys few chondrichthys only one that is related to cyclostomata so this is about the class osteichthys next class we are going to see about amphibians